welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to finally be doing a first impression slash makeup look of the new Lisa Frank and Morphe collab. I'm so excited about this. Um, I do love Morphe's collabs usually, but like this one, <laughs> hit differently. Come on, it's Lisa Frank. So I was really excited to finally get it and I've had it here for a while and I'm just like, oh, I need to get this out. So I'm excited to show you a look I'm creating with it. So if you're excited to see what look I create and what I think about the palette, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and then we will get right into it. So I'm really excited about this palette. Um, it did come with three different cases or designs, but the same exact palette is inside. The second reason I'm excited is because it comes with the 35B palette. It is a palette that was long ago put out and discontinued, which I did not have in my collection, nor was I willing to pay the ridiculous amount of money that people were trying to sell it for online. So if you have the 35B palette, I really don't think that you need this palette unless you want it for like the collection purposes, which is mainly what I got it for. Like. <laughs> I will be keeping this box. I try not to keep too many boxes, but so I got the little tiger one. It was my favorite. I think one was like an alien and then the other was like a unicorn. So let's open her up. Ah. Like my thing is, so when I was younger, my mom really could not afford, my parents couldn't really afford to get us a lot of Lisa Frank stuff. I remember one year I did get a binder and a couple of folders, but I think my grandmother may have got it for us. I mean, there were a lot of us. I have six siblings. So they couldn't really afford all the Lisa Frank stuff. This is just nostalgia for me. I'm so excited to have this palette, to try this palette. I want to create a very fabulous, colorful, pink, purple look. I'm so excited. Let's open her up. Oh my God, it's magnetic by the way. 35B by Lisa Frank. Well, it's not really by Lisa Frank because I'm pretty certain this is just the exact 35B palette. I don't know, I didn't have it. So it does come with a mirror right here. I don't wanna like blind you guys. It does come with a mirror right here in the shape of a heart. And then it also on the bottom, it says this palette belongs to, and you can like write someone's name if you want to. It's just super, super cute. I'm trying not to bend this palette because I do wanna keep it for collection purposes. But here are the colors. We're gonna give a little shimmy shimmy. We got some blues, we got some greens, we got some pinks, we got a few shimmers. We got some yellows and golds, purples. Oh, this shimmery blue. I'm gonna try not to do blue though because I've been doing a lot of blue looks lately. I think I'm gonna stick with the pink and the purple today. First things first, prime the eyes. Boop, Mario. I have actually been using this one quite a bit and I do like to use my fingers just to go in and apply the base. It's so creamy already, but like way creamier with my finger. Um, I did a first impressions video with this and I'll go ahead and link it right up here. My thoughts have definitely changed on it. I felt like it was kind of unnecessary because like we use concealer, but I have found that it actually works a lot better than my concealer does. So I just want you guys to know I'm super, super hot. So if I start sweating or look a mess, that's why. I also picked like the <laughs> hottest day in December to straighten my thick hair. So on top of like, obviously the straightening makes it hot. My hair is just thick and heavy laying on my neck, so. Your girl is sweating. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in here. I think I'm gonna go in here to Puppy Love which is this bright pink right here, and I'm gonna lay that in my crease. And we're gonna figure it out. I don't really know what I'm doing today. There's a little bit of fallout. So I'm just putting it on the outside of the corner and working over. I think I'm gonna do like a halo eye. So I'm doing just a light packing on the outer corner and then just shimmering it over here. And I'm just going slightly above my crease per the usual with my hooded eyes. And I'm gonna go in here and pat it in here as well, but only bring it to the center because we're gonna, that's where we're gonna put the halo. Now that we we have that placed. <laughs> She's bright. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get a lighter color and blend it out. I think I'm gonna go in with Rainbow Chaser right here. And I'm literally just gonna go to that pink and buff it out. And we're just blending it out. I keep dipping lightly back into that color, but I don't wanna bring too much color because what's gonna happen is that hot pink is 100% gonna steal the show no matter what. So you don't want it to just look like it's all one hot pink color. So I'm just trying to keep it light hand up there. So now I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna go into, 
purple. I said I wasn't gonna do blue and purple. But I think I'm gonna go into this purple right here, which is the middle purple, and it's called Violet and Velvet. We're gonna place that color. And I'm just gonna place that on the outer and the inner corner, just packing it and bringing it into the crease not above the crease, into the crease. And we're gonna blend it again, so don't worry if it's sharp. All right, so we're gonna go back into Puppy Love, that hot pink and the light pink, one dip in each, mix it, and then we're just gonna blend out that purple. Blend it smoothly right on the top, don't touch the what you placed, just the line. Guys, I'm loving this right now. I'm just going back in that crease with a little bit of purple. Just because I want my crease to make sure it stands out. Because I got super hooded eyes. So I think I'm going to go in with Persilla right here. This shimmery pink into the center of this look. And I'm going to use my finger. And I just place it where I don't have the shadow and then spread it over to the shadow. The reason I leave just a little area is because I feel like when you spread the shimmer over the shadow, it's going to really mix it and bring that shine out. Because if you leave it where it's just like such a big gap. It's such a sharp thing, but just leave a little bit enough to pull up that color and then just spread it right over that color. This is a very pretty shimmer. It's just very like light and like subtle, but like over this purple. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and I'm gonna lightly go back into that violet and velvet color and just kind of like blend the crease to blend that shimmer in just a little bit more. Very light hand, very little product. It's so subtle. It's so pretty. I love it. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm done with the top part. I'm gonna go ahead, hop off camera, put my face on, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I put my base on. We're gonna go back into that palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with this dark purple here and put it on the outer corner on the bottom and bring it over. And the dark purple is called Sky. And I'm just taking that to the middle of my bottom lid or my under eye, whatever. Just taking it slightly over to the middle. And then I'm going to go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with Sasha and Shanti, this orange, and put it on this from the inner corner over, but not on the actual inner corner. So just from where it starts. I'm kind of mixing up the colors so I can try to, you know, use as many colors as possible. I'm just blending that line in the middle. Oh, I love that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the last part, which is the inner corner. And I'm going to be going in with Cassie and Camus right here, this golden color. I'm gonna try to use this mirror and see how good it is. And it's a pretty clear palette. I mean, pretty clear mirror, but it's too big. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in with that gold into that inner corner and maybe bring it up just a smidge. Ooh. All right, so that is it for this eye look. I'm gonna go ahead, hop off camera, put my lashes on, put my lipstick on, and then we'll be right back for my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we are going to do my final thoughts on this beautiful Morphe and Lisa Frank collab. I love this palette. Um, I wanna start with that. I do love this palette. I love the nostalgia of this palette. I love the look of the palette. The design, like Lisa Frank couldn't have let us down. There was no way that was gonna happen. However, I think that if you have a colorful Morphe palette or a recent Morphe palette, you probably do not need this unless you want it. I know I hate saying that because I do love it. It is a beautiful palette. It is very colorful. But if you have any of the recent collabs, like they have all those vibrant colors. And if you have a 35B palette, you don't need this because that's what it is. So I think it's stunning. I don't have a palette like this. Um, I've been wanting the 35B for a very long time. So I'm glad I have it. And also for the collector purposes, I did want this palette. It is a beautiful palette. I will not lie. It, there's not a lot of fallout. The pigmentation is amazing. And usually Morphe's collabs are pretty great. Um, but I just don't wanna tell you guys, oh my God, you need this palette. You don't need this palette. If you have a colorful palette or any of the recent collabs with all the bright colors, 
or you have the 35B, you don't need it. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this look that I created. If you got the palette or you want the palette, go ahead and comment and tell me why you got it. Is it because you wanted the 35B, you like Lisa Frank, or just because it's a beautiful new palette? All right, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.